Hey, it's Jesko from AcousticsInsider.com. I'm here at a studio that I just finished treating. Uh, it's by an artist called Monolink here in Berlin. And uh, I just measured a uh, new design, this one here in the corner, that's uh, an absorber with a binary amplitude grating diffuser front. And uh, I wanted to show you the results. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is a measurement uh, at the listening position um, before and after left and right speakers separately. Um, let's start with the, um, the reverb time. So here we are in Room EQ Wizard, and this is the reverb time split into third octave bands, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Uh, this is before I put in six of these um, absorbers with the diffusing front. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six in total, and the other absorbers were in here before. And I wanted to see if I could get a better result in the low end while not significantly increasing the absorption in the highs and mids. So this is the before measurement for the left speaker. And this is the after measurement of the left speaker after I put in all six of those absorbers with the diffusing front. So we got a bit of a reduction in the high end, but we're still at about 0.4 seconds while... So we got about 0.1 seconds of reduction in the highs and somewhere in between 0.1 and 0.2 seconds reduction in the mids, low mids and bass. That's pretty good. This is the right speaker before and after and there's the difference is quite remarkable so let's have a look at the waterfall plot so this is a basically a three-dimensional frequency response so the the line on the top sorry here we go the line on the top basically follows the the standard frequency response and then coming out of the window is time so those ridges down there are room modes so this is actually after already, but let's go to before left speaker. So this is before I put them in and there's still a very strong mode at about 70 Hertz. And sort of it ends at about here down here. We've got it, the, got it disappearing very scientific at around what's that? So after about 180 milliseconds. And now after for the left speaker. So we got that bit of a reduction in the high end, but more importantly, this mode at 70 Hertz got damped really significantly. And actually, if we look at the one just about 40 Hertz, let's see how that changes. So we're still hitting that 40 something as well, just a little bit. Okay, right speaker before. Again, we've got that really strong mode at 70 Hertz. Still fairly lively, let's say, in the high end. And then right after. So we completely nuked that mode at 70 Hertz. And the one at 40, Also sees a bit of reduction. Let's see if the peak come down, comes down a little bit, right? So I'd say that's a really good result. Uh, looking at the frequency response, here is before and after for the right speaker. So in the top end, nothing really happens, but in the low end, so we got a bit of a reduction in the peak. So the red is before and the green is after. So we got a bit of reduction of the peaks, as you can see here. That dip came up as well. This here is obviously a reflection-based um, cancellation, possibly the floor. So we'll have to look at that in more depth if we want to get rid of it. Left speaker. 
So now we got left speaker before and after. Again, red is before, green is after. So same, we see the same result. The peaks coming down, the dips coming up. So I'm really happy with that. That's actually a really good result. Um, and it shows you can get really good results good sound, reliable sound from a not particularly big room. I mean, this room is maybe four, four and a half, five meters in width um, and about four meters in length. By the way, interesting fact, we set up at the long end of this room because the Bass Hunter technique showed that this room had a much better, much more even, much fuller response in the low end on the long side than the short side. Um, just a little sort of tidbit there in the middle. But um, yeah, all in all, it just shows you can get really good results. It's not necessary to do everything perfectly. Um, just do the best with what you've got and make sure you get the fundamentals right. You can easily get those 80%. So that's just a little walkthrough of a studio I just did. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, come find me on Acoustics Insider if you want some more info on how to treat your room, how to get reliable sound with easy means without going down that rabbit hole of this or that solution, what do I need to do? Simple steps. If you want that, come find me and make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you soon.